guys. What's up, Gemini? Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, someone around you. So flip it how you need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. Ooh. So just take what's yours. Leave the rest behind. You may find love when you least expect it. Alright, Gemini. So if it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. Alright, immediate future for the gems, please. Thank you. The Five of Swords, the Temperance card, Sagittarius energy, and that's when that tower happens. Um, we got to clarify that Five of Swords, but you've been letting go, or you are, you're, you're healing from something. But something major, it feels like a big change there. Why the Five of Swords? Somebody wanted to win or wanted to prove a point and they walked away. Um, somebody could have been, it could have been gossiping, it could have been somebody lied. But it really feels like somebody got a little hard headed there, a little stubborn. And it feels like they may have said or did something to be insulting or hurtful. Um, yeah, the five of, uh, five of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Wow. So it could have caused financial issues around this with the Five of Pentacles, but the Five of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, um, somebody could have like took the car. Somebody walked away from something with it. It's like they just, they could have just like ghosted just gone but this also another way this could go is somebody you know and and this is kind of messed up like intentionally caused some type of poverty but it also could have just left someone feeling very lonely without breadcrumbs somebody's leaving something here And it's, it's causing some type of loss or feelings of, of loneliness, of sadness. Show me this temperance card for Gemini. So this is Sagittarius energy, but this is about healing. This is about letting go. The death card, Scorpio energy, um, unavoidable change. Forgiveness, release. Maybe there's not forgiveness here, but something is going through um, a major change. The death card is associated with uh, Scorpio, but also Pluto. The Four of Pentacles. So two ways. Um, the Emperor Aries energy. If this is a person, they're still holding on. Um, even though it, it's, it's kind of been let go of, they definitely think about this a lot. But also, if this is money and somebody walked away and caused some type of poverty, it could be because with the Four of Pentacles, like, um, yeah, somebody could have been withholding money. But nonetheless, the Four of Pentacles is about not wanting to share, not wanting to let go. Um, even though it looks like somebody around a relationship probably walked or away from this. And I think, um... It hasn't came up yet, but this is definitely like on their mind. They're thinking about it, this emperor. So with the emperor and the five of swords, for some, I mean, that can be a pretty dominating, a pretty controlling energy that can be anything from like manipulative and abusive or to, you know, just somebody who, it doesn't have to be that serious for all situations, but it can be a pretty dominating energy. Show me this tower for Gemini. This person still got you on the mind. Show me this tower for Gemini. 
please, for the outcome. Thank you. Ooh, the five of one. The justice. Now all of a sudden someone wants to fight Libra energy, fight for what's right. For some, this could have led um, to a legal situation. Show me the justice card, please, for Gemini. What is the eight of swords? It's definitely in the nine of swords is right there at the bottom. It's like um, this could go two ways. If this is a legal situation, the Eight of Swords, you know, isn't the best of news. Um, if this doesn't have anything to do with a relation, I mean, a legal situation, then it's like somebody is trying to fight for the, oh, the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending. It's like somebody, it's, it's, it's kind of like fighting for what's right. So, um, somebody definitely ends up very much in their head about this with the eight and the ten of swords. It's like that may get someone almost to a breaking point here. For some, this could have been a marriage or something that was long term. Um, that was, that's, you know, it looks like it's coming to a close there. I'm sorry if that's your situation. The Seven of Swords. Wow, this just doesn't stop. Seven of Swords is Aquarius energy, but this could be um, this could be somebody being sneaky. This can be somebody being, um, you know, this could be an ending because of betrayal. But this can also lead to like a lot of paranoia. The thing is, though, if this is like a, the same energy or around a legal situation and we started with this five of swords, now we have the seven of swords. Um, this could be somebody who ghosted. This could have been something around theft. Uh, it could go a couple of ways, but it's not the most um, trusting energy or there's a whole lot of paranoia around that now because either somebody it's just plain and simple it's like somebody's so worried that it's over um if this is a legal situation you know there may be there may be some conflict that arises there Um, this can go a couple of ways because for some this has something to do with money for some you know somebody kind of goes to the situation there's just a lot of uncertainty there still all right Gemini I hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading, that information is below as well. You guys take care and I will see you next time. Bye.